Hi, in this video, I wanted to show you how we can find the minimum and the maximum value of a function on GeoGebra. So let me just get started. I would need to have a function to work with. So let me just enter, let's say f of x is equal to x to the third power minus 4x. So the function looks like this. And as you can see, here will be the minimum and here will be the maximum. But then the problem is that uh, you cannot really tell what exactly this point is, right? So this is what you do. Because you want to find the minimum, so you just start to type in into the input comment. So let's say minimum. So I just enter mi, you see all these choices right here. But then let me just continue, let's say minimum, min, and you have all these uh, choices. You want to pick the one that has function. So right here, I want to find the minimum of a function. The function is f, so let me just choose, just to enter f, comma, because I want to find the minimum between, well, it's a ground. I know it's around uh, one point something, right? So the starting value, you can just like pick a one if you would like, and then comma, the right end point for the x value will be just like say two, one comma two. And you hit enter, and you will get the minimum. And this is the absolute minimum on the interval, right? And you can also do the same for the maximum. Just press like max, and you're going to go to the one has function, it's f, and then, the starting x value, let me just, that's like left bound on your graphing calculator. Choose negative 2, and the right uh, endpoint, right, uh, will be just say negative 1. So just press negative 1 right here. Hit enter, and that will be the max. And as you can see, here will be the value for the minimum and the maximum. This is not exactly, well, this is not exactly the values, but then if you go to options, go to rounding, you can get a more accurate um, approximation. And you can also double click on a point, uh, object property, and you can also make it, uh, let me make it calling red first. But if you go to basic, you can have the name and the value. So you know what exactly this point is. And remember, only this right here will be exported as a picture. So you want to enter all the information onto the window this right here are not going to be appear once you save um, GeoGebra as a PNG picture file. And maybe you would like to just do a value, do the same for B, for example, value, and choose that to be blue, and now this makes us happy. So you can move it around, things like that. That's it, and I'm going to save this. This is going to be, because I have a function, this is min, max, for x to the third power minus 4x. That's it.